So welcome to our first day. It, it was such a wonderful evening last night. Yes. I, uh, you know, I, I just, again, felt this wonderful feeling and there's such a mixture of people here, some people that are relatively new to this understanding and and I, I just want to say one thing about that, you know. Sid really taught us that it doesn't matter how much you know or how little you know. That the most important thing about this learning is the feeling. That as, as we carry on, and you know, like the feeling last night that was a feeling of love, a feeling of acceptance, uh, a feeling of respect for one another and who we really are at the core that it's that depth of feeling, that rich feeling, that is our guide, is our, our teacher. And, and so that's why it doesn't matter how much or how little you know, when you get that feeling, you know you're learning. It's that simple. So you can kind of rest easy that you don't have to try to remember anything that's been said. Uh, you don't have to make notes or anything like that. Um, the one requirement is to simply enjoy yourself. That's for sure. Yeah, time has nothing to do with it. You know, I mean, there's people in this room that have been around this for 40 years, and they're beautiful, wise people, but I've been telling Elsie and other friends lately that I recently started talking to, a, excuse my language on this, a 42-year-old kid. <laughs> now that I'm near, getting near 70, for a 22-year-old 20, kid, pardon me. <laughs> It's getting worse, it's getting worse. <laughs> Who, who's only glimpsed some of Sid's work online, and I think has read, now when I first met him, he hadn't even read a book. And honestly, in my first session, I had this idea of what I might want to share with him, and it was amazing because he was just telling me, you know, how he saw his parents now, how he saw his girlfriend, how he saw education how he couldn't stop, how he saw learning. And, and I'm listening to this, this really sweet kid and he's telling me not about what I'm doing with my thinking, or he's telling me about his insights. And, and they're absolutely powerful insights, you know, and he's seeing the world from a completely different place. And this is a 20-year-old kid who accidentally came across some of Sid's stuff on the internet and just blew his mind and then started looking for you know, whoever you want to talk to about it. But it just reminded me of how many times we heard Sid say it's nothing to do with time. It's nothing to do with what you've stored in your head about it. You know, it, it's something more than that. And it's a powerful reminder. And I love the gentleness of how the school is evolving. You know, it's not through any plan of ours. And I, you see this little thing, you know, this is my notes of how many countries we have here because I couldn't remember them all. But I, I love how the school has evolved in its own way. I mean, the only planning we do is we come up with the theme that's based on insight, one or the other of us. And and then that's what we offer to people and we put it on the website and let people know, but it keeps growing of its own accord. And I'm so grateful for that because there's a, a gentleness about that. Um, and there's, it's kind of the proof of the pudding that you, you don't have to have a plan in a sense, like I've planned over the years when I started my own business and so on, so don't get me wrong, you know, I, I had some ideas and some insights about my business, and, but that also was insight based, you know, what moved me uh, on terms of, in terms of who I wanted to reach and work with, that kind of thing, all based on insight. But because I was a non-business person, I really didn't know how to put together a plan or anything else. And, and I also had the privilege of observing Sid and how he started to share and how, how it was his understanding and the love he came from that drew people to the island from all over the world. 
And that happened without him planning anything. Like he'd have an insight in the moment about, oh, I wonder about this, and then he'd move forward on it. But the, this non-plan he had was all insight-based, and insights come from mind. And that's our theme this weekend, is understanding more fully how the more we embrace mind, consciousness, and thought as us, not as something to be applied, um, you know, or that when we're in a good mood, then we're using the principles, and when we're in a bad mood, we're not. <laughs> Newsflash. <laughs> we are the principles, and so they're in use all the time. The game and the wonder is that we have free will in how we learn and in how we use them. And so that's what kind of keeps us on our toes from time to time, but in a gentler and gentler way. And so not only in terms of our, our work and our business with this non-plan, but trusting that it will unfold via insight, it's, it's comforting. You know, it's reassuring. There's a gentleness about the naturalness. And so kind of observing and following Sid's example, that's how it's happened with the school. Yeah, for sure. Is the school has just evolved of its own accord. And so today, we have eight countries represented here without us really doing anything other than offering what we have and making it visible and then that's it. So we have Canada, we have the USA, we have England, Norway, Scotland, Italy, Japan, Sweden. I don't know, have we missed anybody? Spain. Spain, Spain. Spain. yay Spain. And? Denmark. And Denmark. Denmark. That's yes. right. So there we go. So even more countries than I was aware of. Now that's really evolution. Yeah. And isn't it, you know, that's so beautiful. And the numbers are growing again of their own accord, kind of word of mouth that spreads. And, and I love that the best of all because word of mouth is the most powerful recommendation you can have when people see change in you and say, what happened to you, you know? And then it comes out and here you go, you know? So thank you from, for coming from all these different countries and locally and, and it's just wonderful to have you all here and that we can all learn together to appreciate this incredible gift. Not only the gift of the principles, but the gift of ourselves. You know, when I mentioned last night, let's network with our own true nature. That continued to resonate with me last night. You know, it's seldom we take time to really know ourselves and to feel our own essence and to be able to do that together with you all I consider an honor and a privilege and I thank you for that. Absolutely.